Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a video that is kind of important for a lot of people who have piercings. Basically, I'm going to show you how to put on a ball onto your jewelry. It may seem like a weird topic to cover, but it's something that a lot of people struggle with and they don't know how to do it at home, so something that I would like to show you. The easiest way that you're going to be able to put your balls onto your jewelry is gloves. So these are latex gloves. That's going to be your easiest way. If you're allergic to latex, you can also get latex free. However, they don't grip as well. Latex are your best bet if you're not allergic because they will grip so, 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 so well. Latex gloves are really easy to find. You can either get them from the chemist or just from your supermarket. Once you have your gloves on, <laughs> I personally don't do it at home with gloves on because I can get them off. I've had enough practice. You've got the old gloveys on. You've got your barbell here. Basically, the best way to remember of which way the ball goes is people will say lefty loosey, righty tighty. Left meaning you're turning it towards the left. I think a better way to remember is to think going anti-clockwise to undo the ball. You can grab both sides of the balls and turn left and one of your balls will come off. Then I just have to pop it back in and turn right, right, right. So if we're looking at it, we're going left, left, left and then turning towards the right, right, right. Pretty much the easiest way to do it is to get your gloves, grab one side and twist to your left. All you have to remember is lefty loosey, righty tidy. Going left will take the ball off and going right will tighten the ball or put it back on. Just when I was editing this, I just realized something that probably would have been really helpful. You can also use hemostats, which pretty much are just clamp forceps that just clip together and they hold it tight so pretty much the bar can't move so you can spin the ball off. You can get them off eBay, AliExpress, that sort of thing. Something that I find really helpful when I'm getting a ball off is I'll hold the bar and I'll squeeze the ball and put a bit of pressure on it so that sort of just helps it to come undone a lot easier. 